Preventing illness before it starts is an essential aspect of remaking rural health. In Glasgow, Dr. Philip Bale is another physician who saw the limitations of current medical practices focused on illness and decided to blaze a new trail. Having been in the healthcare arena for several decades, uh, I decided that I wanted to, to do more for prevention. 30 to 50 percent of cardiovascular deaths are sudden and unexpected. And for far too many people, the first indication that they have a problem is sudden death. And I find that uh, disturbing for a disease process that we know today is preventable and or reversible. Okay, okay, but today we're gonna do this carotid IMT. I'm gonna look at the linings of your artery. Just need you to hold real. Utilizing state-of-the-art diagnostic tools and an emphasis on time-intensive patient education and support, Dr. Bell and his staff are helping patients take control of their health in a way he couldn't in his traditional primary care practice. Pounds up here and fat mass out here, we know we've actually got some work to do. When I came to the Bell Center, they tested my cholesterol, uh, blood sugar, and also had a carotid artery scan. That scan revealed the arteries of a 56-year-old. You know, 28 years old at the time, that was a real wake-up call that, you know, something needed to change. But what this does is actually tell us about your body composition. And what I want you to do is I want you to step the heel of your foot and the ball. Over the past two, two and a half years, I've dropped 60 pounds. I was at my heaviest. I was over 250 pounds, and, you know, currently, and actually for the last 15 months, I've, I've been stable at 190 pounds. Before, I didn't realize how bad I felt. Until now, I realize how good I feel. We spend uh, much more time with each individual in being sure that they understand the disease process and why they need to uh, be compliant with whatever recommendations we're making. But Dr. Bell is the first one to acknowledge that this form of medical care is not yet financially viable given current insurance reimbursement norms that still place greater emphasis on treating acute conditions than on preventive services. I have to tell my friends that in order to be able to practice uh, this brand of medicine, your house needs to be paid for, your office needs to be paid for, uh, you need to have a retirement plan that's been in place for a few decades, all of your children need to be educated and gainfully employed, and most importantly, you really need to be married to your first spouse. That's a real indictment on our health care system as it exists today. Uh, we uh, spend a lot of money uh, putting out fires rather than preventing them. Um, I think our payment system is in desperate need of reform, and I, I think uh, until we have significant payment reform, it's going to be hard to imagine that we can really change uh, the system that we have. We, the statistics surrounding uh, chronic disease, which accounts for 75 percent of every health care dollar, tells us that we do a, a uh, less than stellar job of treating people with chronic disease in America. Uh, most of those dollars are being spent in hospitals and on high-tech tests and procedures when for uh, very little upfront investment, uh, we could be preventing a lot of those things.